Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally gonna build my clothing rack. I wanted to do that for such a long time but I I don't know I just never did it so today we're finally gonna go to the hardware store and buy everything I need and then finally build my double clothing rack. day I bought everything that I need at least I hope so because there were so many things that I needed to buy that I kind of lost track so we'll see if I forgot something or not but the first hardware store didn't have everything that I needed so I actually went to a second hardware store and they had these pipes specifically for clothing racks um, to be honest, you don't need that. These are just normal pipes advertised for clothing racks. Um, you could have just used the normal, like, I think, I don't even know what they're for, like water pipes, like small ones. Um, and you will find the exact same pipes and little thingies that you need to screw them together in just the normal pipe section. May maybe that's not the right word, but once you see what I've bought, you know where to find it. Um, but the good thing is now that I bought like the one specifically for clothing rag, they're like all black and completely matte. So I don't need to worry about um, buying a varnish or buying something to cover up the ugly silver that the original pipes would have come in. I also think I paid a little bit more money because it was for clothing rags. <laughs> Okay, so I have a bag full of like little things that I need to screw together. And then I also have these big pipes. I have some more. This is not all you need, you need more. Um, but this is how they look. And I think this can look very cool. Okay, I'll show you what you need and then we're gonna start. Now that you know what you need, let's try to screw this together. So I'm gonna start with the top rectangle. And it's pretty easy. You literally just need to screw this together. Maybe I shouldn't have worn black. You literally can't see it. Okay, make sure this is tight. And here you go. Now got oh my god um, the upper part of it. It's kind of hard to screw in because I'm weak, but I'm pretty sure that majority of people are stronger than me, so you probably won't have a problem with that. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> okay, so now that we have this, we need the middle part. So all you need to do is screw in these. T's um, facing inward, obviously, and then screw in the middle part. Ugh, I can't reach the camera. Oh, 
here is only half screwed into the top and half screwed into here because these things don't turn into the same direction. So if I screw it in here completely, I screw it out of there and the other way around. So I just did it half half. It's like in here. Um, I don't feel 100% safe <laughs> holding this because <laughs> I think like this is this is secure. On this side it worked because it wasn't connected yet. But this side, yeah, I don't know. I will just put this one in the corner so it feels a little bit safer there. Anyways, now we are gonna do the like little legs where it's gonna stand on. Um, I asked the person in the shop if he thinks that what I'm planning to do will hold this whole thing and he said yes so i'm just trusting the stranger right now yeah let's just hope this won't fall because this will be loud and dangerous mainly loud i'm like scared that my downstairs neighbors will hate me but if someone is underneath here and it falls onto them good luck i <laughs> feel so weird i screw the little legs in but it looks so good oh my goodness oh my goodness this is heavier than i thought Okay, let's make the little foot thingies. I think I forgot something. No! <gasps> Shit, I have... Okay, so let me show you how the foot works. So you have this and this on the other side as well. And then you screw these in here. But as you can see, I forgot to buy little things that would connect these because you can't screw this into this. You need another thing. But I don't want to go and buy it. Okay, so change of plans. I figured out that I should just screw it into this wall. Okay, I give up for now. I don't know what to do. Okay, it's the next day and I bought the missing pieces. Finally, I think I have everything that I need. I also exchanged the 70 centimeters pipes with the with two one meter pipes. So the whole thing will be two meters high and 70 centimeters wide. Um, I hopefully explained that in the sketch already. And it was such a struggle to return the 70 centimeter pipes because I had, um, on one pipe, I still had like a little T, like the connecting piece, um, screwed in because I just couldn't get it off. I screwed it in so tightly that I couldn't get it off. So I asked my flatmate, but because we didn't know in which direction you need to screw it off, I think he screwed it on even tighter. So then I went to the hardware store with my pipe that I wanted to exchange, like fully connected to another thing still. And she told me I obviously can't exchange that. So I ran around the store trying to find one of the employees who looked the strongest. Because I first asked like one of the younger employees and he was so confident that he could unscrew it. So he tried everything, it didn't work. He completely gave up and said that no one can do it. But I was sure there will be a stronger employee in the building. So I still ran around because I didn't want to take this pipe back home because I couldn't do anything with it. And I found someone in like the wood section and he had luckily like a thing in which he could like put the thing in and then just tighten it so he had something that could hold it while he turns the pipe, if that makes sense. And it did take some time and he was completely exhausted after it, but he managed to take it off. I'm so thankful because then the lady accepted my already used pipe and I could return it. So... 
But there was a struggle already this morning and I felt so stupid running around asking for people to help to unscrew it because they all thought I was just like this weak girl that needs help, um, which I was. <laughs> But they all didn't believe me that it was really tightly screwed on and it's not just my weakness but also the fact that I somehow managed to screw it on so tightly in the first place. But yeah, I managed to get my one meter pipes and exchange the 70 meter pipes and we're now gonna screw it all together um, and then we're gonna finally have my clothing rack. <sighs> okay, so step one, you get your tea and the upper thing is connected to like the two meter pipes and the other things will be like part of the foot so just take your tea and a connecting piece and screw that together then you need the little curve thing and you're gonna screw it in so that it's facing downward this works so much better right now than the first time I did it Nope, never mind, I take it back. Shit. I'm running into issues again. You're gonna screw in the little connecting pieces and if that works or not, excuse me. Oh, you don't screw them in because it doesn't work. Where's my other one? Okay, now we have the foot and obviously this needs to be connected to the whole thing. It's just my spare pipe that I have right now. So I'm gonna finish screwing everything together and then I'm done. And hopefully, hopefully everything is stable. I trusted the hardware store guy with that, so we'll see. I'm done finally this took a bit longer than expected just because I forgot to buy stuff and also because I changed my plans throughout the video like four times I don't know if I'm gonna include all of my back and forth in this video but just know that this was my original plan but there were many plans in between until I came back to this plan so it took me <laughs> it took me a few days to actually build it um, but we're here, we made it and if you just follow one plan and you stick to it and you buy everything you need then you will be done within a day. It's super easy, super quick. But one thing that I will say is even though this is like in theory super easy, the only really hard part is to screw everything tightly together um, because sometimes it's it just doesn't turn completely in the direction you want it to turn. Um, so you either need to be very strong and very sure that you don't want to unscrew it again because that won't work <laughs> Trust me, I've done that or you just have it a little bit looser But it's still gonna be screwed in tight enough so that it won't fall apart But yeah, this is the end of the video I hope you really enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a like and also maybe consider subscribing to my channel It would help me out a lot and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye I put makeup on for just this clip. I hope you appreciate it <laughs>